The Bible's impacted the history of man like no other. It's made up of 66 books written over a 1500 year period by some 40 authors across three continents and in three different languages. The first 39 books are called the Old Testament. It tells about God creating the earth, the family of Abraham who became known as Israel, and the law this family was to follow. The vast majority of the Old Testament tells the history of Israel and details their triumphs and struggles in serving God. The New Testament contains 27 books, telling the story of Jesus, the work of his apostles, and a number of letters written to churches and Christians telling them how to serve God and work together. Although there are 66 books in these two sections of the Bible, they're all united as one in the message they proclaim. God wants to save man from his sins. How God wants to save man can sometimes seem confusing. There are all kinds of groups and individuals who say they know the way God saves, yet they don't agree. So how can you know what to do? It starts with coming to know Jesus Christ. As the Son of God, Jesus came to earth to provide a way for people to be saved. The Bible tells his story, beginning with the prophets in the Old Testament, who were given special messages by God describing the coming of Jesus. These prophecies were shown to be true in the first four books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These books tell about how Jesus came to earth to teach and to show men how to live. They also tell how he died on a cross and became a sacrifice for our sins, so that through his death, we can live. They also tell how Jesus returned from the dead three days later, showing his defeat of death as he prepared the way for us to find salvation. When we understand this, we can then understand what we must do to find salvation by reading what God told the writers of the New Testament to record. And what did they say? First, they tell us that it is only by the power of God that salvation comes, not by our own goodness or works. It's by understanding that we must trust that not only God can save us, but that he will save us. It's then that we're ready to have our sins washed away in the waters of baptism, just as the Apostle Peter preached. Coming up out of the waters of baptism, we become new people on the inside, forgiven of sins and ready to begin the journey to heaven. We may look the same on the outside, but we're changed so that we now desire to please God and do his will. Would you like to study these grand ideas on salvation even further? There are some Christians who only want to follow the Bible that would be glad to study with you. You won't hear church creeds from them or any teachings from books written by men, just the Bible. Have you got an hour? Just contact us at this website, and one of these Christians will help you understand the big picture of the Bible in less than 60 minutes. No pressure, no gimmicks, no nonsense, just the Word of God and His plan for your salvation.